guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, me and Helen are back with our last in the Best and Worst series, this time for Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Yes, Universal and Islands of Adventure. So, like always, we're going to be doing our top three and our bottom three rides slash attractions at the parks, and we're joining both of these up this time. Usually, with the Disney ones, we've done the park separately but we're joining the universal ones okay so. so Helen's going to start with her third favorite ride at Universal and Islands of Adventure okay so my third favorite was a tough because my third and second are pretty much joy all of my favorites were tough there's like <laughs> 10 rides that I could include yeah in. so for my third one I've gone with Escape from Gringotts okay yeah I really love Harry Potter and out of all the Harry Potter themed rides, Escape to Wingot's probably my favourite. Yeah, just same. because Jewel with the Dragons is it's just been really good. Dragon Challenge. Oh. That's what it used to be. Okay, see it, see it's the same ride, just been rebranded. It's it might be closing soon though from what I've heard. Oh, okay. Have yeah, ever been on the Hippogriff? But then um, that's not just, when it's been the Hippogriff, no. when it when it was the unicorn. So that's literally the same ride. We're going on it this year. Yeah, okay. And the uh, Forbidden Forest, Journey to Fem Forbidden Forest. That one's just a bit too queasy. Whereas Forbidden Journey, that one. <laughs> whereas Escape from Ringotts, it's just it's such a good ride. You, all the special effects, like with the people yeah. and and the queue's cool. I mean, Forbidden Journey, the queue's pretty cool, but nah, it's, it's just really Escape from Ringotts is an amazing ride. It is really good. So my third favorite ride is Men in Black Alien Attack. And I love this ride. I think it's because every time we've been there, we've always done it multiple times. It's just fun, like friendly competition, and yeah, and the red button at the end. The only bit is just it gets a bit old when you're in the lift going. Oh yeah, that bit's a bit annoying. Yeah. But um, it's a really good ride, and yes. I like beating Helen on it. <laughs> and that doesn't happen. Often. But we went on it once though where none of our guns oh, yeah. worked. I can remember that. Three that years was, ago. That was a bit um That was like if your guns don't work on that ride, then it's just like okay. But if they do, which they do 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a really good ride. It is. Um it's just really fun and it's a classic for us. If they ever close that, I will be very, very angry with Universal. So yeah. Mm. Maybe if it maybe sort of rebrand it or something. No but, but you gotta admit it gets a bit Old. No, I love it. Okay. Don't ever change it, Universal. My number two is the Mummy. I like the Mummy. It's a good ride. I, no matter how many times we go on it, I, it just never gets old. It's classic. Like you've got all, all the little scenes. It's really you're driving fun. Through. And the queue's pretty cool as well. It's scary. You know, have it's you ever put your hand in that thing? No. Yeah. <laughs> I refuse to do anything that's scary. I didn't. The bit where the mummies pop up at the side on the sprite, I didn't look at it until three years ago because I was petrified of them. <laughs> I've always been scared of the film The Mummy. Well, I mean, I'd watch it now and I wouldn't be scared. But when I was younger, um, so <laughs> it's a really good ride. That it can make you feel a little bit queasy sometimes because mm. the stops are quite sudden, yeah. especially when you get to that bit in the middle. I think no, now like because we've been on it so many times, we, like knowing that it's coming, you, you're sort of already bracing for a bit. It's really it good, helps. and the good thing about it as well, especially when we go, I can't say for like peak season, oh, but there's no queues. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty much no walk cues. on all the time. Walk on every Which. single time. So my second favourite ride is build wrap barges. And I reckon that's your first favourite. I will say that it's my first favourite ride. <laughs> I love water rides. I mean, we both love water yeah. rides. Um, and it's definitely our favourite rapids it's just, ride. It's because that one, there's just so many things, like moments Out where you, you can get drenched. That it's just, it's a good, like, get, um, commander, commander? It's just fun. Yes. And, <laughs> like... It's good atmosphere with everyone on board, yeah. whereas I mean, people, some people get wet, everyone's laughing, it's just... Yeah, I mean, don't go on this ride if you expect to come off dry or you're hoping to come off dry, because you won't. You will get soaked from the head to the toe, the head to the toe, from your head to your toe. <laughs> um, you will not have a dry spot on you, but it's just so much fun. If you want to get wet, you want to cool off, it's so much fun. What do you think my number one is then? Jurassic. 
been into Jurassic. <laughs> I love Jurassic River Adventure and I love the whole Jurassic kind of area in Islands of Adventure. I don't know why, it just gives me like deja vu from like times <laughs> of the park, times of, I don't know what I'm talking about yeah, now. Yeah. But just walking into the Jurassic Park area and hearing the music, I'm like, oh my God, I'm here. Like, I don't get that in many places. Mm. But when I hear that music, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And the ride, I love, like, welcome to Jurassic Park. And then it's nice and, it's sedate. nice and sedate. But then it gets like, oh no, what's happening? And then you see Rexy. As well with this ride, you can come off pretty much dry, um, unless you're at the front, as me and Amy learned. <laughs> um, if you watch day five, part two, I think it is, um, you will see that, so. <laughs> Uh, um, it's just such a fun ride. Again, we go non-peak. We've I don't think we waited for it once last year. I don't think so. I don't think we really uh, have much. Maybe five minutes top. Yeah. Um, it's such a fun ride, and I love it, and I love the music, and it's just so good. Although, oh, maybe I should have included that as well. I really like the Spider-Man ride. Just gonna do an honourable mention for the Spider-Man okay. ride. I really like it, and all the roller coasters. The Hulk. Yeah, Hulk, Rip Ride Rocket. Although the Hulk, I felt like my head was going to explode. Really? But yeah, it did. I felt like either my head was going to explode <laughs> or it was, I don't know, just it was going to explode. So now we're going to go on to our three worst attractions at Universal and Iron Sword Adventure. And my third least favourite is Transformers. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I don't mind Transformers. But it's, I, cool. it's okay. It's okay, and I'll it's go a, on it. It's a bit to do. I'll go on it next year and I'll enjoy it. But when you compare it to like Spider Man, yeah, which is not, so good, they're like good similar rides, there. pretty much the same type of ride. Spider Man one's got to be like 15 years old or something. I don't even know how old Spider Man is. Hey. Um, <laughs> but it's a lot older, so you would think like Transformers, which is only probably about four <laughs> years old or so, um, that it would be really, really good. I just, I think Spider-Man is a million times better. Um, I think uh, um, I've put my number three as um, Terminator 3D. We didn't do it last year, but from what I can remember the year before, the story's okay. It's so, it's not like it's, a very advanced attraction. Yes, I suppose because you've got like the people actually yeah. there with you as well as this on the screen bit. The, it's, it's one of those more... things where you do it once and you've kind of done it. I yeah, think. I don't think you ever re really redo it. Yeah. I think they could put something better in its place, especially because it's in that area of Universal where there's not much. Mm. They need to attract people to that area. Yeah, it's just sort of a walk It's good through. for pictures. <laughs> First thing in the morning, walk through there. Good for pictures. <gasps> um, I think they need something better there though. So my second least favourite attraction is Poseidon's Fury in Islands of Adventure. It's in the, I don't know what the section's called. The Lost Continent. That's it. I do not know what the section's I called. I forgot about that one. Um, yeah, we didn't do it last year. It, I don't think we did it at the time before. Probably not. It's not that no. interesting. It's a walkthrough thing. Yeah, it's like a walkthrough thing. You stop and then there's things that are spoken about. I can't really remember too much about it to be fair. All I can remember is my feet were hurting and I didn't want to do it. Yeah, um, it's very dark. And the only bit I do like is the water. When the water's like going yeah. around. That bit's really cool, but that's the only cool bit of it and it's like half an hour long. Maybe not that long. I don't really know how long it is. It's just very boring. And it's the only attraction aside from the Sinbad show, which we haven't done in a long time, which I've heard is terrible. Um, I can't really remember it. Um, that's in the Lost Continent. And I feel like they either just need to get a better attraction in there or completely redo it. Yeah, or just get a whole new land area in there because it's a waste of a thing. Like the whole continent looks pretty cool. It, I does look like, nice. it looks really yeah. cool. Like you feel like you're kind of in there, like in that place. <laughs> but there's just nothing good in there. My second least favourite is E. T. No. I'm turning to Amy. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's just with E. T. Really outdated. No, it's so much really fun. Really outdated. It's so much fun. It, it's just, I suppose it's nice just to sort of, you've got a little bit of a ride. Go, go on around. a bike. But, no, just to be fair, it's like 
when you do all these different rides and you're seeing things like you're like I could believe these are real but you're like E.T. These just look really bad fake. No! Fake it's so much fun you go around on your little bike and you're like woo! <laughs> <laughs> and the walk through with the big trees. Okay I like those. To be fair that's cool. alright. I like it. We're going on in this shit, so. Well, so long as it's quiet, I don't mind. Yeah, well, but it's not going to have a massive queue. I'm just not. But I'm not that fussed. No. To be fair, it's something I could take it or leave it. No, I really like ET. It's just a nice, fun, flowy ride. My least favourite attraction is Shrek 4D. As is mine. As is hers. Mm. Yeah, we, we've done this every single year. We're not doing it this And I feel year. like last year we only did it because we wanted everyone else to do it at least once. Yeah, that was the only reason. But I can't see us doing it this year. Nope. It's so outdated. When you compare it to other kind of shows slash attractions yeah. like that, it's so outdated. It needs serious it's updating. It's like that intro when you first Ugh. walk into the room. You stood up for ages. It's like you can hear what's happening in the other room. Yeah, you can, yeah. And. That's what, what I was going to say, that sort of gives it away a bit, but then it seems so long, that intro. It like is, you, it's really long. It's like, you just it's stood long. there like, oh my god, what do you really think? Long. It's pretty much as long as the show because god. you wait outside and then you come in, you wait as long yeah, for the next show true. to finish and then you go in. It takes so long. And it's just like the chairs as well when they move, you can hear every single movement. It's like, doom, 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 doom. So it's like, oh, well, I'm not really riding a horse, am I? I'm just. Mm -hmm. doom, 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 doom. <laughs> I really don't like Shrek 4D and I love the Shrek films. I love Shrek. Yeah, Shrek's a good film, but it's um, not a good ride. It's just not a good attraction. That should be the next one in Universal that they get rid of mm -hmm. or replace. I don't think they could even update it because I just think it's one of those things as well. You've done it once, you don't need to do it again. Nope. It, it's so bad. So, thank you for being my video son. My best and worst videos. No um, problem, Louis. <laughs> so we can say bye to her for the next few weeks. Uh, yeah! They sound so happy. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching. If you've watched just this video or all of my other best and worst ones, thank you so much for watching. They will be in my Disney planning playlist on my channel. Check out my Disney vlog playlist as well. We will be in Disney in just over nine weeks time. Yay! Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, so yeah, there'll be new Disney vlogs coming in like just over 11 weeks. So <laughs> keep your eye out for those. Planning videos to come very, very soon. But give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And remember to subscribe as well. And I'll see you in my video next week.